Hello everyone, this is Laruna Softpaw, and welcome back to Dwarf Fortress. And, um, it's a beautiful day in the Fortress of Crowd Kitchens, and I have a couple plans to do, uh, for this episode. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to commission a bunch of cages, because I really want to do some- I really want to start setting up cage traps. I already have somebody on rock mechanisms, but I need cages if I want to do this, uh, cage trap thing. So anyway, um, oh, someone cooked a masterpiece. Okay, so last episode we found out what was gonna happen with that one dwarf girl, uh, the baby. Let me see if her mom is still around. Um, she is. Oh, I think she's leaving. Uh, wait, I could have looked at her. Okay, she's ready to leave. All right, she's leaving right now. I wasn't sure if she was gonna start bugging out like in the fortress because that can happen sometimes. But there she goes. Goodbye. You terrible, terrible mother. Yeah, and the other thing that I wanted to do that relates to what happened last episode, I wanted to build a proper bedroom and office for our mayor, because we got a mayor! They elected Costa's the mayor, which I knew he would get that position. Um... Wait, who was our broker? Or chief medical dwarf? Oh yeah, Obolta. Yeah, so this is the stuff that he needs. He needs an office, and he needs something better than a meager quarters. And he needs his own dining room and his own cabinets and things, and... I think... I don't know if I actually crafted all of those. Also, I might need to upgrade the size of our food stockpile. Uh, we got all these seeds here. I really hate when I just have seeds lying around. Walnuts? Lots of walnuts. Oh man, we have so many walnuts and pecans. And what else? Apple seeds, which I don't think we're ever gonna use. Oh, that's a lot of seeds. I don't know why they put dark for not putting those in barrels. But anyway, um, I guess I could just expand it a bit. Let me just do that quick. Expand out like that, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we already got some cages made. Uh, we're smelting nice. No, we're not burning anything. We should be burning some wood because we <laughs> we need the charcoal. Um, we're gonna be running out of charcoal pretty quick if we don't. <laughs> Um, yeah. And then I would like to maybe look into appointing a guard captain. Because then we can have a justice system. Which hopefully we won't need, but, um, you know. You never know. We could get, like, spies and stuff in here. Um, but yeah, I wanted to... We, we gotta make some- we gotta- we gotta spruce up this area that I carved out for cost. So what I usually do is I do, like, the walls like this. Like, I just put- I make, like, four rooms within, um, the area that I had designated. And then I always do, like- you guys have probably noticed this, but I like to put, like, two doors per- a uh, doorway, so I arrange it like that, and then I put, and then I divide these up, just like that. And there, we got four rooms um, for all of his needs, and then we're gonna make it nice and pretty uh, later on. Uh, we got to craft what he needs is the thing. So he needs a bed. I don't think I have any beds in the inventory. Uh, no, I don't have any beds. Wow, I need more room for furniture. I'm gonna have to carve out this too. Um, but let me just do this before I forget to. So uh, we need a bed and we need a cabinet and a table. And I like to give them two chairs and an armor stand and a weapon rack. And we have chests. Oh yeah, they need two tables because they need them for the office. And I think that's it. 
So we'll have somebody else make all that stuff, and then I'm just gonna... Ah, uh, you know, we could probably start crafting things out of gold. It's gonna be a, another season before we get, um... Anybody... Oh, oh yeah, that's right, somebody had started an artifact last time. Okay. A Kagakod... Ev... I wanna try to say his name. Evan Lekubit Kit, stone crafter, has created Avud's Ring of Bezdan, an orpiment toy axe. She claims it is an heirloom in the fa name of the family ancestor, uh, Uthlet Periphery Buttresses. Yeah, it translates their, an their ancestor name, but not like their own last name. <clears throat> um, yeah, I kind of want to see who this Uthlet person is. Because they could be another person in the fort. I don't know. I thought I just thought that was so funny that one time, <laughs> um, where they named it in the name they 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 claimed in the name of family heirloom who was just like an acquaintance in the fort. Well, let's look at this artifact. An orpiment toy axe. Oh, what does it translate to? The scrunch of durians. <laughs> um, eighty four hundred. That's not. That's cheap. That's pretty cheap. Uh, this is an orpiment toy axe. All craft worship is of the highest quality. It is entrusted with round orpiment cabochons and rose-cut rock crystals decorated with emu bone and encircles, encircled with bands of rectangular orpiment cabochons. The object menaces with spikes of orpiment. That's a pretty bare basic artifact there. It's a toy. Oh well. Uh, kids will like it. The Scrunch of Durians. I think I'm gonna name her... something to do with that. Durian. <laughs> I'd like to- I'd love to try durian someday. Like, you know, it's- it's- it supposedly tastes really good even though it reeks. Um, oh yeah, she doesn't really have any relatives in the fort. Well, not that I can see. Oh, she's in a romantic relationship with the dyer. That's neat. Um, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to go and carve out, like, a jail somewhere down. Like, maybe here. Because I want to use those metal cages for justice. They don't let you use wooden cages, which I'm gonna have a lot of wooden cages, but I don't want the wooden cages being used for cage traps. Or, I don't want the metal cages being used for cage traps, because I want them to be used for the jail. So we got a bunch of mining projects to carve out, and we have... Okay, the walls are all done. They didn't even have any suspended constructions. Um, okay, so I think we have enough doors. Oh, we have so many doors. Holy crap. I think we can stop making doors. I think we're good on doors for a while. Um, how many... Okay, we don't have any, like, beds yet. Oh, they found Bone Opal. Digging out something. Oh yeah, digging out the jail. Okay. We got a whole bunch of kittens, just a whole bunch of things in the announcements. Um, how's our library doing? Uh... Oh, we have like 10 pieces of writing material. We can bump that up a little. Okay, hopefully some folks will start writing books. I could assign scholars. I'd have to go and look at who would make a good scholar and see if there's somebody that I could like um, sacrifice to such a project. Okay, yeah, they just finished up using all the choirs. Yeah, let's make it pretty. Maybe we'll add more tables and chairs, too. That could help. Oh, geez. He already put a ban on exports already. Let's see what he's... Export of male shirts prohibited. Okay, well, that's not really a problem. I wasn't really planning on exporting any of those anyway. Speaking of which... We should start making some, like, gold crafts. Uh, other objects. 
make it out of gold because I'm pretty sure we got some gold. Yeah. Or, actually, before I do that, uh, someone's already working on it. Uh, I'll just let them finish. I wanted to make an anvil. Okay, they're doing that. Oh no! A guild hall was abandoned. Oh, that stinks. I, I, I wonder which one it was. Was it the farmer's guild? It was the Farmer's Guild. I completely neglected that. Well, they'll probably- they'll try to do it again. They'll try again, and then I can... not neglect them next time. I think I did have a pedestal crafted for this specifically, and then I completely- it completely slipped my mind in the midst of all of this other stuff. Uh. It's like the thing with dwarf. What the hell? What just happened? What just happened? What the just? What just happened? Excuse me. Badgers. Badgers, bleeding on things. What is happening? <laughs> what the hell just happened? I was paused, right? I don't- I think I was paused. I don't remember. I'm pretty sure I was paused. And then I unpause and all of a sudden... <laughs> what the hell is happening? Okay. Um, report. Badger Sal is fighting. Uh... There was some blood. There was some of that Great Pyrenees blood there too. Badger Cell collapses and falls to the ground. It's attacking dwarves. Wait. One of the farmers is... Wait. Oh my god, this is weird. What's happening? Okay, so a badger got in and it started getting attacked by a dog. By the way, the different um, dog breeds in this, it's, it's actually a mod that came with meth launcher. I'm probably not going to use the meth launcher for future series, just because it's not, like, totally up to date with current might, with current Dwarf Fortress, but, um, I'm still going to use the tile set. Uh, but, you know, right now I just, you know, I didn't know that at the time when I started the series. <laughs> uh, but it's for future reference. Anyway, uh, the dog and the, sow and the badger are fighting... The, the stuff in red is the stuff that, like, you know, Badger is attacking dog, and then the stuff in blue is, like, people that are uh, part of the fort. Okay, so I got a scratch in the dog, or on one of the dogs. I guess a couple dogs came in. And it becomes enraged, and it does get a it does get a scratch on the on the Great Pyrenees dog. Um, and, but then it, it keeps getting exhausted. It's it's gonna go down at some point. It's just taking a while. I don't know. This is why we need to. <laughs> this is why we need to start putting goddamn uh, cage traps up because then we don't have to worry about this. Although it's kind of unusual for me to get wild animals just having brawls in the fort like this, but, you know. And the farmer shows up and grabs it and starts throwing it against a wall and then punching it. And the, the badger's fighting back a little bit, uh, ripping his clothes. I'm gonna need to start making these people new clothes because this is getting ridiculous. And then the brewer gets involved and starts punching the badger. And the farmer keeps punching the badger. And also slamming it into a wall. Ah, this is brutal. <laughs> some of these some of these combat logs can get really brutal. And now the badger is collapsed again. And um 
we just gotta wait for it to finish. I think it's gonna be fine. I think we're gonna be- I think it's gonna be fine. Oh my god. What the hell? Guys, come on. Oh my god, there's another one? I just saw another one, like, run up this way. Jeez. Oh, there's a whole bunch of badgers! There's a whole bunch of them! What the hell? Get out of here. I hope they're running away, like, and trying to leave. Get out of here. Oh, no. I, I, I just don't want anybody to get injured, you know? It just died. Okay. Because I don't have any- I don't even have any, like, I don't even have a foss- a, a hospital set up. Badger Sow Corpse. Well, we can butcher that. We gotta deal with all of this. We can make badger soap! Oh my god, this is insane. What the hell? I was just about to do stockpile stuff. Let me do that. It's like, I don't really have any weapons or anything. I don't have an army yet. Oh man. <laughs> my first major obstacle right now is dealing with the stress of badgers in the fort. <laughs> oh, get out of here. I think they're just ignoring- I think the dwarves are just ignoring them now. And that one just got butchered. So, okay, um... Alright, I gotta wait for the cook to start, like, rendering badger fat so I can catch it and then we can make badger soap! <sighs> okay, um... Maybe the badgers will leave. Okay, they're rendering fat. And somebody just took it out. No. Uh, I think we do have some, actually. Let me check. It's under here. Uh, no, we don't have any badger tallow. Okay. Not yet. Okay, now I think we should. I think we should. Yeah, somebody just put it in the stockpile. Okay. Just allow that from cooking so we can make soap! Also, do we have... stuff for making soap and things? I don't think we do. Let me build that. So we need a lye. We need a an ashery. No, wait. What was I just about to put down? No, I, I hit the wrong key. Okay, we need an ashery so we can make lye. And then we need a soap maker's workshop. Yeah, like... Again, I've been, I've been watching, like, soap making on YouTube lately, so it's like, I know how this works. Oh, you gotta make the lye, but the lye is like... You gotta be careful with that before it's, like, incorporated with, all the, with the soap ingredients. Or else it's gonna, like, sting you. But it's like the main ingredient in soap. And there's so many messages of plump hummus spawn. Oh, we need more plump hummus spawn. We don't have any. Shut up. Shut up already. Jeez. Oh god. Oh. What's happening now? Are they still- They're fighting badgers again. Okay. Uh, I see some vomiting. Okay, the, the, the badger's vomiting. <laughs> And there's more, um, dogs atta attacking these things, um, and they're- Oh, they're- they're- Oh, this one's- Yeah, this one's, uh... Yeah, this one's getting up on that dog. That dog's not doing well. Neither is the badger, but, um... Dog ain't doing so good. Oh man, so much badger vomit! What the hell? <laughs> this was so, this was so unprecedented today. <laughs> I wasn't expecting this. Um, okay. Ah, oh, God. 
Ah, uh, just kill the stupid thing. Okay, let me put the metal cages down in the jail so that I can start making cage traps because we need to get we need to get this place secured. So T for traps, capital T for traps, and then uh, C for cage trap. Not traps, duh, I wanted to just put down cages. So zinc cages. You can also use chains, but I just always tend to have cages on me. Okay, so we got a bunch of cages, and I think we have enough stuff to put in costs uh, quarters now, so yeah. Let me just decorate his place, so I'll put the bed in here, and I always like to put the, the cabinet in the same room as the bed, and then I put the tables and chairs in this corner. And then the armor and weapon rack will go like in here. And then I put a chest in there. And then I put his office up here with another chest. And that will be good. That'll be good for costs um, quarters. Well, we are gonna need to smooth it out. So I'll, I guess I'll just designate that quick. and it should be good. Yep, here comes all the furniture. Oh my god, these badgers. <laughs> okay, let me assign all this stuff now and then we'll deal with the cage traps. So we just gotta assign everything to him. Our mayor necromancer. <laughs> and then make barracks. Uh, for some reason they like having weapon and armor racks in their quarters so I just make them their own barracks. And okay so now it means when it's yellow it means that you've fulfilled the basics. It's just not they're modest, but they need to be decent. So we gotta wait for the stone to get smoothed out. But I did put everything in there, so he's he should be fine. Again, yeah, I want to build that anvil. Uh, so many things to keep track of in this game, and you know, being uh, like recording it just kind of exasperates it. But it's fine because I think this is fun. It's just I'm gonna forget things a lot. <laughs> Uh, let's make cold crafts after that. Okay. Then we can have a separate anvil for- we can have a separate craft area for- Oh, what happened? What just happened? Migrants! Okay, migrants. Migrants. Let's see them all come in! Ooh, a bunch of peasants. Bunch of peasants. That's a lot. That's a lot of migrants coming in. <laughs> also, there's a lot of plants over here. I should collect some. We just got a lot of migrants. It's springtime, so it's understandable. No one travels in the winter. Oh, that's a lot of plants, too. Let's see. What did we get here? Uh... More miners, woodcutters, a weaponsmith. At least we have two weaponsmiths. A spinner. And two peasants. Okay, let's start putting cage traps down now because we need it. <laughs> ah, jeez. So first we'll start putting them out here. Um, so T for traps and then cage trap. Oh, we have so many mechanisms.
Okay, so I'm lining this area with traps now, and then I'm gonna start lining up uh, where the tower is with more traps. Yeah, so this hallway is also gonna get lots of traps, and uh, so is this hallway. And maybe this hallway too. And this isn't going to be the last of them. I'm going to be adding them in like all the hallways on the outside, that lead outside. I'm not gonna put them in the inside hallways. That'd be weird. Okay, so that for now, and then... Okay, how many mechanics do we got? We might need to train more. All right, well we have two dwarves that are labeled as engineers, but how many of them actually have engineering skills? Um, well, the engraver does. Or no, woodcutter. Yeah, so that guy's a woodcutter, but he's also a really good mechanic. How many others do we have? Okay, well, just tavern keeper and then our regular two mechanics. Okay, so let's train, let's train some of these new peasants to be mechanics. Okay, baby's doing fine. Baby hasn't been attacked by any any boars. They or badgers. I mean, they're badger boars, badger sows. <laughs> ba the baby's fine. Baby's still doing good, and they're dancing or singing again. Someone just left a cage in the middle of the. These goddamn badgers. Ah, oh, will you get out of here? Okay, well, let me just do some stockpile stuff. And we're gonna need to refill our wood supply. Oh, well, those cage traps are already getting loaded. That's pretty nice. Oh, that's right. We have the soap stuff. So let's just make some lye. I'm 99.99% sure that we did have uh, ashes last time. I did make ashes. Oh, somebody made a masterpiece gold crown. That'll sell for a lot when the humans get here. Yeah, there's something about seeing a big stream of dwarves just coming out to get the wood. And like, I don't know. It's It's... It's, it really is just like having like an ant farm, you know? Except more interesting. <laughs> I don't know. I've never really had a proper ant farm. Oh yeah, dwarves are vomiting because they're going outside because I don't have them go outside very much. And that's what happens when dwarves go outside and they haven't been outside in a long time. They get sick from the sun and they start vomiting all over the place. <laughs> Hopefully none of you have had a, you know, a pandemic, um, quarantine that bad. <laughs> I haven't. Go out and get some fresh air once in a while. You know, we're doing all this stuff to make soap. I think we should start making, um, a hospital now. We'll put the hospital near the tavern. I think that's a good idea. Yeah, we'll put it there. Do have any other visitors? I'm just curious. No, we- Whoa! Criminal. He's a dwarf, and he's a criminal. You can learn more about this visitor after they chat with a local. I don't like you. What's your deal? Don't come in here thinking you're gonna steal things. What do you think you're doing? Who are you? I love that it just says on there, it's like, oh yeah, I'm a criminal. What are you gonna do about it? You don't have an army. Okay, he's just here to be in the tavern. Uh, let's see, I think it would say, 
Uh, this visitor has come to relax. He heard that the utter of brushing was the place to enjoy oneself. I love the name of this place. <laughs> and he's telling a story. That's neat. So as long as he stays out of trouble. Oh, we need more gold nuggets to smelt more gold. That's cool. We got lots of that underground. Yeah, uh, is that more blood? Jeez. The badgers, the badgers are in the bedrooms. Oh, get out of here. Oh, get out of here. Oh my god. Get the hell out of here. If these badgers hurt that baby, I'm gonna be... Oh, I'm gonna be mad. I'm gonna be so upset. Oh, get the hell out of here, you stupid badgers. Oh yeah, get that badger. Get him. Is it chasing that child? Okay, we need more beds and bedrooms for the new migrants. Oh god, look at all this blood! Okay, so I think we're good on the cages. You can stop making those now. We need beds. And I think we have an anvil, so let me... Yeah. And then once that's built, we can start making weapons. And maybe the first thing that we'll do is have the goddamn badgers get killed by some military that we set up. We'll start setting up military squads and get rid of these goddamn badgers. <laughs> but I think that's going to do it for this episode. Um, I'm going to be off next week uh, because of the long weekend. I'm not going to have time to make a video. But I will be back the week after, and I will see you all next time here in Crowd Kitchens. See ya!